Welcome to another episode of Daily Gym. How to train a new employee. I've talked about this topic in previous episodes, but in today's episode, I really want to focus on the first week, and in particular, why I make certain decisions in terms of what I let the person do. In the first week, there are always three objectives for me. The first one is, I want to know what kind of person I'm dealing with. Not so much in terms of values and interests, although I do care about that, but more so what kind of working style the person uses, how does the person communicate with the colleagues, and what is the preferred learning style for this person. Secondly, I want to integrate this person into the corporate culture or the team as much as possible. And finally, I want to, f I want to enable this person to work as independently from me as possible, to be able to do things on his or her own. In order to achieve that, there are three major things I do throughout the week. The first thing is, on the, on the morning of the first day, I sit down with the person, teach him or her about the mission, vision, history, and the corporate culture, as well as the way in which the company operates. But I also give the person a tour, introduce him or her to every person that he or she will be working with, and give him or her an overview of seating arrangement, so that the person has an easier time remembering the names and the faces of everybody that he will be working with. The reason for this is that I don't feel this is something you should outsource, because it's it's the first time that the person is in contact with anybody in the company, and generally speaking, you'll be the person's direct superior. So establishing that relationship from the get-go and simply talking about strategic things or practical things rather than the actual task will instill in the person's mind that you are the strategic leader. The second thing I do is outsourcing the teaching of the actual task of that person. Of course, this is under the assumption that you have other people that have done the same task as this new person will be doing, before, so that you're able to turn this person into a mentor for the new joiner. There are two reasons that I do this. The first one is for the, from the mentees, the new person's point of view, is that this person will now establish a relationship, pretty much being forced to establish a relationship with somebody else in the office that's not you. Which in this case leads to, if that person has certain questions, he, will, he or she will probably turn to the mentor rather than to you, freeing up time for yourself. The second benefit is on the mentor side. The mentor probably hasn't been in a position before where he or she is teaching somebody else or leading or managing somebody else. So this way you're effectively killing two birds with one stone because both the mentor and the mentee are learning new skills that he or she wasn't able to do beforehand. Which then brings you to the third point. Sure enough, this will occupy time of this will occupy some time in the week for the mentee because he or she is learning the ropes of the job. But most of the time, this teaching doesn't take the entire 40 hours in the week because the mentor also has additional responsibilities that he or she has to take care of. So how do I fill up those remaining hours? I pretty much let the new joiner do a certain research. The research, of course, varies per company and per industry, but I pretty much divide it up into three parts. The first part is an industry analysis. I want the person to find out latest information about the industry. Of course, I give him or her a bit more specific targets, but again, that depends on the business or the industry that you're operating in. The second is I let the person focus on a service or a product that we as a company offer and tell me how he or she would improve it. But I don't simply want ideas. I want the actual implementation. So I want the person to show me what kind of manpower, what kind of timeline we are looking at in terms of implementing this improvement. And finally, I give the person one of the problems that I'm facing or dealing with right now to see what kind of potential this person has if he or she was in my shoes. For all of these, of course, many times you're not able, the person is not able to complete all of these, all of these tasks. But at the end of the week, I will sit down with him or her for 15 minutes, 10 minutes presentation, whether they want to use PowerPoint, simply speaking it out loud or using some other kind of props and having a five minute Q&A session. And after that, I do another 15 minutes simply talk, asking the person how the first week went. By that time, I've already observed the mentor and mentee relationship to see how the person fits in with the office. But also I can see from the work that's being delivered, how that person has been able to get to that point. Has that person asked a lot of other colleagues for how they used to obtain the information or how they're obtaining the information now? Or is the person more of an independent learner trying to figure things out by themselves? Then in terms of the presentation, how are the presentation skills? How are the design skills? What, what kind of ideas does the person have? Does the, is the person practical enough to think about the implementation? How far along is the person in his or her development journey? Those are all kinds of questions that you can pretty much extract from this simple kind of task and dividing up the, the this first week for this person. In the end, the whole 
goal for me was to minimize the time I spend with this person, but extract as much information in order to obtain to achieve the three objectives I laid out at the start of the video. That's all I have to say for today. I hope there were some useful pointers or tips for yourself. If you're ever in such a situation you have additional and you have certain things that you cannot figure out, do send me a message or leave a comment below. I would love to help you figure things out. That's all for this week. I'll be back with another video on Monday and I wish everybody a nice weekend.